What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Far From Sober Podcast. This is your boy, Hugo, a.k.a. Big Gucci Sosa. It's your boy, Adelcio, a.k.a. C. It's your boy, Alex, a.k.a. Amex Bundy, a.k.a. D3 Bundy, a.k.a. L Bundy. Damn, I think he's beating me with all the AKAs now, bro. It's <laughs> yeah, crazy. Bro, you guys got too many names. Like, you gotta... All I have is the club, Big Gucci Sosa, Sad Boy 3000. Oh, the Sad Capitalist. That's my new one. You know what I mean? That's what, the wave. What you, what you guys come up with this shit? Like, I don't be in the shower and shit, like just thinking of this. Like, oh, I got I got more AKs than America, bro. Cap, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> we on we on what season four, episode fourteen. This is probably like the longest season so far. How much longer are we gonna make this season, fellas? Um, damn, when should we stop? We feel like it. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we can't even like answer that question because we're just fucking liars, bro. Yeah, yeah we, we lied about mad shit. We lied about changing our name. We lied about giveaways. We lied about raffles. We lied about Pi and Hugo. Pause. Hey, yo. Yo, we really I did. Yo, we really, that's wild, bro. But we really <laughs> said we were going to Hugo. I mean, we can still make it happen. You guys just got to, you know, go to Stop It Shop. I'm not Get, you, get an EBT card. Get a pumpkin pie and throw <laughs> yo, it. Yo, why are you saying it like that? Yeah, I, I didn't want to hear it like that, bro. Oh, that's <laughs> fucking. But yeah, so back to the thing with. I think it's because I watch too much wrestling, bro. That's why I come up with, like, m- mad names. Damn. Yo, talk about wrestling. You see what happened to Bray Wyatt? Bro, hold up. Rest in peace, Bray Wyatt. Rest yeah. in peace, Terry R. Funk. P. Bray Wyatt was definitely one of my new, one of my favorites from the new school. Honestly, yo, I repeat him, but I didn't really like him as a wrestler or entertainer at all. Nah, he was good at talking, bro. Like, he was so good on the microphone. Oh, I yeah. feel like they fumbled I, him. I didn't like, I didn't like the... the Nah, I thought he was so good at like talking to people. Um, I feel like WWE just didn't know how to really capitalize on his character and like and his charisma and everything. Because I thought he was so good at what he does, bro. You think he should have been better like as a solo wrestler or, or the group was? So he was as a solo wrestler, and then they gave him like this fucking yeah. But then they gave him this Mister Rogers gimmick, and then made him wear like a weird mask and everything. And then he came back as like oh. I'm an improved man or whatever. Like, it's not me being crazy or whatever. Like, it, it's just, like, they didn't really know how to how to use him to, like, to his, like, potential, bro. Because, like, I thought, you know, great on the mic, was able to control a crowd. Like, there was a there was a time where, like, a crowd was eating out of the palm of, the palm of his hands and everything, bro. Damn. Who is he? Huh? I'm sorry. I just Ray didn't, Wyatt? Want, I didn't Wyatt? watch wrestling anymore. What was the um, last time you watched wrestling? Yeah, what was the last time? Like, what year? I was at a bar watching wrestling or some shit. That's was the I, last time I actually like paid attention to Russell. Was I there? Yeah, we were all, we were all there. I think Adelcio was there too. He was a big dude. They got a WrestleMania or some shit. Big dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, they did like the the video game tournament and everything. Came up a couple bucks. Um, but yeah, freaking, he was a big dude, bigger beard than Adelcio. Um, with the fucking shit. Yeah, with the lan- with oh, the that's lantern. Oh, fire, bro. R.I.P. That shit was fire. Yeah, rest in peace. He was like a he was like a, a great value undertaker. Kinda, but. Yeah, but he talked yeah. though. But he talked. And that he was, talked. He talked way more than. I think that's what it was. I think he talked way too much. I think the Undertaker probably only said like thirty lines throughout his whole career. And that's what made him great. Yeah. Because all he did was beat niggas' asses and then go out with his day. Favorite wrestler? Yeah. yeah I no bullshit. Right now, is, I'm st- I'm the being between uh, Stone Cold or Randy Orton. Like they're right there. Like I don't know, cause but they. It all depends on it, cause you know Stone Cold had the Attitude Era. That shit was that shit was the probably the best era, honestly. Mm. But then there's um, when Randy Orton was bald, killed a demon. Like he's a menace to society. You know he had like he was going through like bipolar or like anger issues or whatever too. So like he was being like a real dickhead sometimes. Yeah, so like the pills they take, bro. You know how much fucking people? roids they take. How much painkillers they have to take to be a wrestler? I mean, yeah, like the injuries they be taking, like those bumps, like even though it's scripted and everything, like those bumps and bruises are real, bro. Yeah, like people were wrestling with like staph infections and shit, bro. Like my favorite wrestler is Jeff Hardy, and I can only imagine how many pills he took. Yeah, yo, he's throwing himself off anything, bro. You didn't give a fuck. Like you have to be high as fuck to want to do a jump like that. Oh God, like yo, he had like no fear at all. Like, to have no fear, you definitely got to be, like, off the shits, like. But, yo, I'm surprised, like, he hasn't had, like, a crazy, crazy injury. Like, any, like, career ending type shit. Yo, them drugs is, gave him superpowers, bro. Made the recovery think easy. That's why crackheads, like, could do anything. 
Crackheads are forever, bro. Bro, That's I think we saying. need to start sending crackheads to like war. Let's have crackheads as an intern. Yo, no bullshit. If <laughs> I promise, I'm, crack for I, for editing the videos. I think I broke the code. I think I broke the code. What? Try it out on me. I'll be the mule. What? What? The I crack? will be the mule. So if <laughs> I'm on my death, crazy. like if I'm on my deathbed and I'm dying, yo, just sprinkle some crack in my mouth. Hey, yo, why are we gonna put like crack in your mouth, bro? If I'm, I'm dying, nine, I don't. Death. Honestly, I don't want to put nine in your mouth. Yo, just, <laughs> Yo, just put a rock in my mouth, bro. Just throw a rock in my mouth. See if I come back to life, bro. Just like geeking yeah. out. You'll come back to weekend, bro. Like, but I'll come back, right? Yo, yeah. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I, I won't <laughs> come back the same, but I'll come back. I don't know. Maybe we should hire crackheads as like WWE superstars and be like, "Yo, we'll just give you some crack after crack, you." Crackhead wrestling. Crackhead wrestling. Nah, that, yo, that's like abusing <laughs> like people. Like, yo, I heard a story, bro. I actually heard a story. What's the story? Yep. So I can't say the names, but there was a wrestler that got booked to wrestle out here in Rhode Island a few years ago, right? Uh huh. And you know what he asked for payment? He asked for crack as payment. Is it who I think it is? I don't know who it is, bro. I don't don't know. He said, pay for my flight, pay for my stay, and give me crack. And wrestle with him. I think I know who it is. I, how, was it during the Attitude Era or 2000s era? I'm not, we're not going to say the name, but like, I just want to know if I'm right. Uh, the last 10 years. But it's an older yeah. wrestler. Is it? I'm not, I'm not answering that. Bro. All right. Yeah. All right. We'll talk off camera. Like, no, no, I'm not answering it, bro. No. He wants me, you want me to be a fed boy so bad. I just, I just. Allegedly. Asked. It's alleged. You know, allegedly. statue of limitations. Remember, there, there was the drive years. too. So they used to switch a lot. So you could. Yo, so, so what is it? Raw, SmackDown, or ECW? I had a former, um, I went to a wrestling convention once, mm-hmm. and a former, you know, what do you call those? The managers, the people that come out for the wrestlers and do all the talking and everything. Yeah. So I was walking with my boy, and dude literally asked, um, was asking me where he can get an eighth. Eighth for what? Eighth for bud. Yeah, bro, uh, hard, yeah. bro, like. <laughs> but I, yo, that counts, that counts, bro. Like, bud was still illegal, though. What was this? This was... 2009? Was like 30 at that time? I'm not 30, bro. <laughs> well, you better put your belt on and serve him, bro. <laughs> it's like encouraging drug nah, dealers. It was, it was illegal at the time. That's it crazy. was illegal at the time, bro. It's crazy how like that shit really got illegal. Like, It's not that serious, bro. I, I think it is. You think so? I think we should make it illegal again, bro. Why? Why, why bro, you people, people abuse this shit, bro. It makes a lot of people... How many people you be around that just be too high to do business with or just too high to be like, to be around? And That's they just make everything boring. And I feel like it should be illegal to wear a button up while you're potting. <laughs> Why are you being so serious for it? <laughs> <laughs> you want to have a business? Sorry, my potting. bad. I'm in my capitalist arc, bro. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Bring I don't think in. so, bro. I've, I, I see a lot of, a lot of like business people smoke, bro. And they literally get their work done. Do you want to know? You know what's crazy? A lot of business people... If you really pay attention, a lot of them are cokeheads. Of course, it gets them adrenaline. But like, I'm not talking about like niggas on like Wall Street or, or stuff like that. I'm talking about like regular companies out here where we're from, where we live in, and like you know smaller companies. Like, bro, you can see like how certain people are, and then like you're, they're tweaking off of something. Shit, so like, I feel like companies don't care as long as you really get your work done. Unless somebody snitches on you and be like, "Yeah, this nigga's off it," they're not gonna randomly drug test you. Well, mm. yeah. You ever got snitched on at work? Or have you been the work snitch? Mm-mm. I get paid to be the work snitch. Nah, <laughs> you you writing? Huh? You writing? Well, that I mean, rides for a living. Well, you're a manager. Really? Well, you're a manager though, so that's different. <laughs> that's a tattoo six nine on my face. Yo. Oh, nah, nah, man, we, nah, we talked not, about that way snitch. too many times. I'm the person that they run to to snitch, and it'd be hilarious, bro. Like, I'm gonna be honest. This is coming from a manager's point of view. I don't give a fuck, bro. If I didn't see it, I don't care. Like, why are you making it my business? If they're not working, who cares? I didn't see that shit. But now I have to see it because you told me. Mm. <laughs> What's the <laughs> wildest thing someone... Do my job, now man. I have to do my job. <laughs> Managers don't give a fuck. We don't care. We get paid the same way you guys get paid. We just have to pretend we give a fuck. So what's the wildest thing someone, like, snitched on? Hmm? If you, it, I don't know if you could talk about that, but... Like What's like the example, wildest thing? Yo, they be snitching on Dusty all the time, bro. Yeah, I don't care though. Dusty used to get snitched on. Well, I don't know if he still works uh, with you or not, but yeah, until this day. To this day, bro. <laughs> they still day, snitching bro. on Dusty. To this day, bro. Bro, 
Oh damn! What the fuck do I be doing? I feel like I don't do nothing. He hasn't been like, clocked in for weeks, and he's still snitching. On him. <laughs> There's no way, bro. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, I just wanted to tell you about the time Adele sealed. <laughs> like, what the Yo, like, what the? Fuck? <laughs> yo, no bullshit, yo. I don't, yo. I don't even take it serious, yo. I think, yeah, they, I, they done snitched on me in that job. Mad times. I know that mad times. For dumb shit too, like me probably walking around. It, it coming back like 30 minutes later type shit. you think like is it usually older people that are snitching or is it like a mix it's always a mix uh, yeah i feel like because i always felt or always thought that it was older people snitching it's oh it's about the brownie points they just want to have that those brownie points for you but in that in that job like um you know because i used to work with you and everything like what was the point of getting brownie points because everyone was Everyone was a fucking on a union and everything. So what was the point of snitching? Well, not even. What was the point of getting brownie points or being cool with, cool with the manager? Other than like, you know, the union always got your back. I don't know. Maybe it just turns them on. Like this isn't the only job that I, I that I managed, but I did it at other areas, like other places too. And everyone does the same shit. They they all snitch. They all snitch. There's always a snitch at work. Mm. I've never worked at a place where there wasn't a work snitch. Some people just like that that drama at work, you feel me? Like, they just can't just clock in, clock out. Like, you know what I mean? They need a, some type of excitement. Like, all right, like, they just make, they'll probably just make up something on the spot. You don't feel yeah. like it? I feel like a lot of it has to do with home. I feel like a lot of people's lives at home suck. Like, a lot of people don't live, like, the lifestyle we live. So, mm. like, their lifestyle literally is wake up, go to work, go home, eat and watch TV, then go to bed. It's just that repetition. So when they're at work, they get the excitement of doing something different. Yo, that's crazy. And, and people probably, get some bitches, bro. Yeah, they probably love talking about work, too. You What's know? the craziest thing you guys done to get out of work? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're a federal kid, like. I got nah, my yo, own. Yo, 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 so. <laughs> I. This is going to be crazy. How many grandmas do you I don't think have? I've ever told this story, uh, like, on the podcast or to anyone, but I'm going to tell you guys. Ready? Go. Far from Hold sober, up. exclusive. All right. So I still remember the day, the year, and everything. Damn. Nice. So it was back in 2012, right? Or maybe 2011. 2012. 2012. You, just, you were so confident when you said you know the date. Like. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sure. I, I, I didn't want to give away my age. Mm-hmm. So um, so it was 2012, right? Mm-hmm. So I was working at a, a grocery store, right? Um. <laughs> I had to go into work at seven in the morning. Yeah. I was partying the night before until like five in the morning, bro. I'm still fucking at that party, bro. Still at that party. What is wrong with you? Still at that party. So one of my boys is like, yo, bro, you know you gotta go to work, right? I'm like, yo. if they call me, I'll, I'll tell them like some crazy shit happened, right? I fall asleep for like 20 minutes. My manage, my general manager calls me. He's like, "Hey, Alex, uh, where are you? You're supposed to open up your department." I'm like, <laughs> I'm "Like, hey, man, I can't, I can't go to work. My little brother just got circumcised." No, what? <laughs> that is crazy, bro. Yo, what kind? Yo, you could have said anything. <laughs> yo, I say that, bro. He's like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm like, "Yeah, bro, I can't make it." <laughs> He's like. <laughs> that is crazy Bro I kid you not bro Everyone woke up bro <laughs> They were like What the fuck did like, you just say It was like everyone in a party You were sleeping at the party Yeah bro we all knocked out bro It was like It was what five, seven uh, You six, said five right Yeah but we all knocked out It was like maybe like six seven in the morning bro How many people were like knocked out in this party It was a lot motherfucker, bro. All knocked out on the couch that, that is room, crazy, bro. bro. Everyone you hearing we that young, too? You were young, too. We were like, I graduated 2011. That was a year after. So, yeah, it was like 17, 18 years old. That's crazy. Damn. Yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to think now. I think I've always just said I got into a car accident. That's, no. why, you, that's why you crashed so much. You be lying, man. Yeah. Hey, hey. And then it becomes true. Like I, bro, I speak the bag into existence. The bag into existence is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't honestly I can't remember any any like 
Like my shit's always simple. Like, you ever just showed up after your shift and be like, "Yo, I'm here to work," because you're so late. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You showed up at like, let's say you work a nine to five, and you just show up at five, you're ready to work. Nah, that's crazy. What the fuck? What's the point? <laughs> Nah, you have to, when, when you go late to work, you gotta go in mad. I got some bullshit. Bro. You do, yeah. You gotta be like, what? Yo, those mad traffic. Someone hit my car. I, I got look like you're in a I rush. Pulled over. You gotta always ha- come up with some bullshit, bro. You ever had a job that just doesn't care? Yeah. Cause like my current role, <laughs> <laughs> my current role, they're like, oh, bro, like if you could have just stopped by, got yourself a coffee, and like you would have been chill. Like we don't care as long as you get your shit done. Yeah, I haven't done that since probably like my first two years of working. Like you know, actually walking in like in a rush, like ah, oh, like looking fake stressed, like damn late. And then after that, I stopped caring. Like I literally would walk in just normal. Like. Bro, I've been in my role for like three months now, and like everyone's still dressing up in like t-shirts and everything, and I'm over here and button down slacks, shoot, uh, you know, fix your credit three three hundred. Not not the only one, but like everyone's more casual, and I, I'm not yeah. because like yeah, I like. Bosses in a hoodie and shit, chilling like. <laughs> Yo, that'd you be, got the Dewey on. That'd be me, bro. I'd be hoodied up, bro, just leaning back in my chair, watching anime. Oh my god. Yo, this nigga can really just be chilling, bro. <laughs> oh. You guys in the office, yo, it's, it's rare to see him actually work. Like. You write, you writing a letter to his corporate office? You uh, snitching on him? Nah, I'm not snitching. Yo, I'd be opening up like Pokemon packs, bro, watching Pokemon card rip videos. Nah, so, but he does get his job done beforehand. That's why he got so much downtime, bro. It's crazy. So how many times have you looked out for, like, your boys? So many times, bro. So many times, bro. <laughs> I got all my boys. If you're my boy, I know you, you got, got you worked at my job. Yeah, I mean, you've gotten, like, millions of people, like, that you, you know. You job, bro? Yes, sir. I mean, I'm hiring next week, bro. Oh, yeah, one of my boys wants to work there. Oh. See, who else needs a job, bro? I'm hiring. Yeah, he's yeah. been asking me for, for, like, a month. I just but, can't to but before you even apply for the job, you got to share, you got to share, it. like the podcast, you know what I mean? Subscribe on YouTube because Bundy's going to be checking that shit on your, on your resume and yeah, everything. If you didn't subscribe, yo, you're not getting hired. You're not hired. He, he might hire you and then get you fired within like the first week. Unless you're bad, then you might get a pass. But that was just besides the point. Allegedly. <laughs> yo, so how do, you, how do you tell your homeboy, right, that he's standing away with females? Do you even have the heart to tell him? Like how you how I tell my homeboy like if, if he's scaring the bitches? Yeah, making him feel uncomfortable. Honestly, it depends on the situation. Like if the females are openly saying like yo they feel uncomfortable, like then you're gonna have to like you know put them to the side and be like yo like you bugging right now like yo they they ain't fucking with your vibe you know what I mean? Like you gotta just tell them you gotta be straight up. But if they don't say something, I'm probably not gonna say nothing. Like I'm gonna watch it happen and be like damn this nigga already fumbled like. The fuck can we do? Yeah, you know, would you tell him after like y'all are yeah, after the I'm kickback right. and be like, "Yo, bro, here's your playbook. This is where you, this is what this is what you did good. This is what you did bad. But here's how you can improve, like a manager." Yeah, like like the next day, I'll probably be like, "Yo, I'm not gonna lie, you bugging. Like you was too drunk. Like, yeah, damn. That's why we didn't secure the bag. Just like that. But you know, that's just an example. You know, he's a, he's a very so, well married man. So what I've noticed is. I, I don't, it, it may be like this for you guys too, but I feel like my circle don't scare the hoes away. Yeah, it's always when they introduce another person. Into Yo, the actually, you're not. You're not yeah. Yeah. When the person always scares the hoes. That's when true. the women introduce somebody new to no, the circle, like, no. like when you're one of your boys brings a boy, it's the always that plus dude. one. Yeah, the plus one, the player two. Because mm. you know, you you and your boy, you you guys, you know, a duo. So you guys gonna communication, teamwork is gonna be there. Like you know, know what to do. He's your wingman. Like, you're going to throw alleys. You're going to throw alleys. But when you add that extra person that you don't, like, you don't chill with, they can fuck up the chemistry. Mm. Like, they, they, you know I mean? they try to do too much. Yeah. Like, how do you have the heart to tell someone that they're doing too much? I just tell, I just tell his, I just tell my boy, like, yo, your boy's wilding. Yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly what you got to do. But, like, let's say, like, the three of us were hanging out and, like, you brought me mm-hmm. and I'm wilding and like Adelcio was like, oh, um, yo, you got tell, you got tell me he's wildin'. Like, would you knowing how close you and I are? Like, how would you how would you tell me that? I personally have never been put in that situation because my boys all get the women. We don't fumble here. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. But so, if I was in that situation, an example. If if I was in yeah, that, like if I was in that position, play it out right now, bro. Yeah, not not me making them uncomfortable because that's a different topic. But like just me walling out and like yeah, just doing I'll too act much. This shit out right now. All right, let's act it up. Let's act. Right, it. Let's I don't know go, how we gonna go, act it go. up, but nigga, go on, improvise. That's it. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> all, right, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, your boy is bugging right now. No cap. What's he doing, bro? He's too drunk, bro. He, he keep harassing me, big. Harassment is no cap. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you gonna tell him? Yeah, I got, I got you, bro. All right, go tell him. Yo, bro. Yo, what's good, bro? Uh, I don't know, bro. You might have to go home or some shit, bro. What you mean, bro? <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, you gotta go home, bro. You're too drunk. Yo, you, what, what are you talking about, bro? Like, I'm good. Like, what, you, what you mean? Listen, bro. Why we come to this party? I came to get lit. That's it? You mean, like... <laughs> Listen, we came here to get some fucking bitches, bro. And you out here fucking acting fucking stupid, bro. <laughs> Get your ass in the car. I'm calling you fucking Uber, bro. Jesus Christ, that could have been like a good, shit. a good Grammy. That could have they could have gotten him an like, Oscar, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, he said like, yeah, acting award and shit. I started, I started laughing before I even started, yo. That's why I feel like I can't be an actor, yo, because I would have to like, I'll, I'll go, I'll go off script so many times. Well, I mean, that's a good thing about like, um, doing improv or whatever, just yeah. coming off the top and just. Yeah. But even going improv, crazy. sometimes I feel like I'll laugh, nigga. Like, I can't even, like. I don't feel like I'll be a great actor, even though I like when I was younger, maybe a serious actor. But like, if you're just a natural, like who you are, whatever, then you should I be know, straight. Put that shit on your resume. But you can't act, bro. Women love that shit. <laughs> Cause I don't act up. You feel me? They know you can't. You're not a good liar, bro. <laughs> Speaking of entertainment, are streamers the new form of it? New form of entertainment? Yeah. They, they, yeah, it is. Cause like that's everybody's on their phone. Everybody's on the computer. What what they be on the most? Probably YouTube. I mean, I can tell Twitch. you. I mean, I can tell you why streamers are the new form, number one form of entertainment. The reason why is because people, the number one consumer in any market is always kids. No why is that what. though? Kids and women. Kids kids buy stuff. Okay. And they're more they're more like into the climate and into what's going on now just like with music yeah kids control music if a, if 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 adults control music then you would hear a bunch of like 90s rap but you don't you hear fucking suicide music all the time because they like to market to the kids because the kids like listening to suicide music mm. so, what the fuck suicide music the fuck yeah. is that what you got to remember too like, like trippy red and shit like that yeah cardi like cardi, vamp music yeah. oh play by Car- but We're like, have bangers, but like, the difference right. is too. You also gotta take into account like culture, because like us, we're we're Latino and everything, and like, you know, we also grew up with like a different generation where it wasn't just like English music. We grew up on Spanish music too. What's your, what's your favorite Spanish song? Me, I listen to like uh, Vicente Fernandez. Yeah, I got, I got, I got dragged into it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but back to so, fucking kid, kids are the number one consumer, so that's why kids like streaming because kids don't go outside anymore. All kids do is stay inside and go on Discord and play Minecraft, or go on Instagram, or watch fucking videos of people doing fucking stupid, stupid things. I honestly think that's the why. streaming era could come to an end soon too, though, because there's. Like streamers are starting to become like those old like YouTubers where they're doing like those fake pranks where like oh, um, saying old people right beefing beefing Who's the number people one streamer right now. Who's the number one streamer right now? Who's the number one streamer? Kai Sanat. How old is he? I don't know. Probably He's like 21, 22. Wow. Yeah. Is he doing that corny shit? Not. Exactly. All the time, no, no. not all the time. He's 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 creative as fuck. Because you got yeah, people like, because you also got people like Fuzzy TV who just did some corny shit where he called SWAT on himself that's, and he got arrested for him. Though. That's YouTube. Nah, he, he was a, he was streaming, bro. Like he got arrested on stream for that shit. Damn. Because he was calling SWAT. I feel like everybody got their own type of content. You feel me? Some content is gonna is gonna hit, so others is not. I personally think that content needs to stop, like yeah. ASAP. If it's make if it's putting money in his pocket. Or like those it's gold diggers. Good. Yeah, but people are watching it, so they're gonna like they're gonna keep making that type yeah. of it's videos. What the, it's what the kids want, bro. If the kids want that, that's what's gonna happen. It's like the same thing like with us, like if 
if if a certain like way we're doing our content is making us come up, we're gonna keep doing it. No? Yes? No? Yeah. Show me. Mm. That's what I'm saying. So like if we keep like playing pranks on you and like it just and got that us, like, shit, and then we views. start getting millions of views, what are you guys gonna keep doing? Play a prank on me every single fucking podcast. Would that would that fuck with your mental? Huh? Would that fuck with your mental? Me? Be yeah, being like that character that like you have to fuck with. Um. Nah, cause I don't feel like I take shit serious, honestly. So serious I'm gonna get you's back though. It's so, not so serious question. So you say as, if it gets us the bag, right? You don't yeah. care. Pause. Nah, you I say like some crazy shit. I so, already know. So what if we have mad like? Hey yo, what the fuck? Hey, yo, no. Like an AO counter? Maybe we should get AO counter on Bundy. He he definitely gonna be the king of that shit. Cause he's like it says uh, AO shit like every like a pause moment. Every other sentence. I'm going to put it out there. Anyone watching this shit, if they make a compilation of Bundy saying some shit, a person give you $100. Cash Damn. out. Personally Damn. give you personally give you $100. $100. Easy 100 And that's not that's not a pause right there? Of what? Of what? What was the pause? Catching Bundy slipping? Like, why do you want to count another man's words? Yo, this kid. This guy like, trying to get out of it, bro. Why do you so much with him? Yo, he's he trying to get out of it. Shit, like, he's always trying to but a hundred dollars, bro. Easy, easy hundred dollars. You can get yourself a little hookah. Can you make a compilation of me saying plausible things? Yeah. Personally, I will personally guarantee that. Fire. Add it under to uh, add it to the list of things Fire. that we probably won't keep up with. <laughs> do I? Do you have to like show ID when you send the video? In? Nah. Fire. Wait. Easiest hundred dollars I'm ever gonna make in my life. This can't. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be you, gang. It can't. Yeah, it can't be you. Fire. Yeah. Have you guys been seeing the natural disasters going on? What, the one? Um, Me freestyling the booth? This kid's trash. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. Nah, I just like to get rap, yo. He just be, he's not confident in himself, I feel like. Yeah. Been trying to get him to rap for years. Yeah. Been trying to get him to rap for years, I bro. can't be a rapper, bro. Look how I dress, bro. I dress like a dad, bro. I dress like a white man. No, you dress like a Republican. <laughs> I voted for Trump. Yeah, I can tell. Oh nah, my god! Bro. So what, what fight are you talking about, though? Like, cause the last one I heard was Canada, bro. I, I feel like I be living on the rock. Yeah, so um, Hawaii, crazy fire. Like I'm talking about crazy. Um, yeah, rest in peace to some of the people that. From what I'm hearing, yeah, from what away. I'm hearing, um, a thousand people died. God bless um, a majority of those people that died were kids, wow. because there wasn't no school that day, so oh, all the fuck. kids were at home. With their parents at work and they didn't know how to react with the fire mm. um you had people dying in cars because they couldn't leave the island fast enough you had people jumping into the ocean to be away from the fire it's a really sad moment like how do you, how can you train a community like even to like react to that type of stuff they don't they don't tell you how to react to that shit. Not even so, over i also feel like it's a problem with like tourism as well you know because um i personally don't know how the fire start well, i don't know if you know either but oh i, I feel know like fire no it's oh so. I, I know okay. how fire starts <laughs> um but yeah like i feel like tourism also needs to like slow down in places like hawaii nah, too, nah, that's though. not why bro like you got too many people getting their lands colonized the resources are very scarce as it is there's people going to the hospitals that are waiting a long ass time because there's also tourists and a bunch and it's overpopulated right, so do you guys want to hear Conspiracy? What's the conspiracy or the so supposedly the supposedly uh there was a laser that hit Hawaii and put it on fire a laser a laser came zapped it there's videos there's literally videos of a laser zapping down um because they want to turn Hawaii into a smart city for those who don't know what a smart city is a smart city is basically like a technology city where uh, you have to scan like your hand or a card for you to make purchases, for you to travel around. There's curfews. Um, everything you need is within a certain radius. So well, you don't you even like need broke. a car. You can just walk to it. I was you broke, you go like this. It declined like LA. Like if you're <laughs> a broke person? Yeah, basically like that. So like if you don't have money like and you show them your wrist, that's it. You're broke. You can't buy it. That's crazy. Just, yeah. So they want to implement a bunch of smart cities around the world. And a lot of the areas that are getting burned down are 
areas where they want to have smart cities like California. See, like if we was if we was in Hawaii together, I'll was, I'll was, I'll was take your QR uh, code and use it. That's crazy. You'll be in debt, bro. Mm-hmm. Wild <laughs> debt. Wild. <laughs> I'm gonna Jeez. take a picture of that shit. Fake it, boom. Quick, yeah. easy. I'm gonna be a rich man. Yeah, but they're saying there's on a conspiracy side. That's what they're saying is that's why it happened because there's other people that live in Hawaii, well, Maui, where it happened, that their houses didn't burn down like Oprah, Jeff Bezos, people like that. Their houses didn't get burned down, but like, the common folks' house got burned down. And on top of it, to make it worse. Our commander in chief, President Joe Biden, wanted to give everyone a nice little stimulus check of seven or nine hundred dollars. That's it. After yep, after that, after that happened. But, but there was also FEMA benefits, though, bro. Like he. But no, if you actually watch it, a lot of people were trying to donate and go to the island and bring them resources, and they all and the state said no, we can't accept it. Wait, what? Yeah. Nah, because from what I heard, it was like some of these like um, natural disaster agencies, like FEMA and everything. Like they already got the go to yeah, like of course, go FEMA, of course go, FEMA, FEMA, yeah, go FEMA. go yeah. in there and like help yeah, people with the housing and and all this other stuff for environmental crisis and everything. Because yeah. that's a natural disaster. Yeah, but FEMA doesn't help anyone, bro. You can ask anyone. Do your research. During Katrina, when that whole thing happened, what'd you hear? FEMA, right? Yeah. Ask anyone from New Orleans what, fe- what happened with FEMA. They'll say that shit was the worst thing that can happen. When Katrina happened, people had to move up north because FEMA didn't help them. FEMA's not helping no one over there in Hawaii. They're not allowing people to donate shit to help people. Was it FEMA, too, that left um, all that water in Puerto Rico during the hurricane? No, it was, it was regular people, bro. Nah, do you remember what I'm talking about, right? Like, yeah. there was, like, Pallets and pallets full, yeah. cause like, cause you know, yeah, Puerto celebrities are also the... leaving like pallets of water too. Shit, yeah. FEMA's a government pro- a government program, bro. I don't give a fuck. You got beef with them? Yeah, bro. Yo, FEMA, you got beef with you now? Allegedly, yeah. You know I mean, we can't. No, we don't want beef with the government. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all I'm saying is they about to leak his taxes and then both of our taxes for no reason. Oh, well, my taxes is good, baby. Um, all I'm saying is, <laughs> all I'm saying, if you're able to fucking give Ukraine billions of dollars multiple times, why can't you give your own country billions of dollars after a tragedy that just happened? Damn. Yeah, but at the same time, it's like one of those situations. And I have to, you know, and I'm over here thinking on both sides, like trying to think on both sides where it's like you're in a you're in a treaty or you're in a in a program where like you have to defend some of these other countries because you don't want to have these like these bullies or whatever alleged bullies Mm -hmm. to be taking over little countries like Mm -hmm. that because that could also cause like a lot of um a lot of um disruption in in the world too you know it could have like a lot of ramifications kind of like with china and taiwan um but you want to say a state a state in your country just went through one of the biggest disasters that can happen Fucking kids died, bro, in a car, bro. And you want to give their parents seven hundred dollars? I mean, like I you think you just gave billions of dollars to some fucking Ukraine, yeah. a country that had <laughs> a country that supplies the most child kitty corn in the world, bro. Mm. Crazy. Like, come on, dog. Like, there's other countries in that area that could help them. Like what? What other countries is powerful as as like military? Any wise? other country that's in the UN? Like, what other countries are in the UN? You go there in Europe. I'm asking you because you because you're so you're you're talking about they're in a they're in a group that have to defend these little countries. Yeah. Why is it only America when the UN is so big? I mean, there's other, but no other no other country has the manpower and the capabilities of what we got. In terms of technology, in terms of um, warfare and all this other stuff. Well, why is that? You don't think they have the resources? Well, they don't have the resources, and we we do though. But at the same time, like like I said, I'm playing. I'm playing. Bo- you have to play both sides in order so, to give. So good, we uh, so we spend our tax dollars to defend little countries and not take care of us. I mean, that's is that what something, you're telling me. Are you? That's you agree with that? selfish. I I personally I I don't. But like I said, we gotta talk about it because I mean we shouldn't be. 
we shouldn't be pers- in my personal belief but like we have to but we have to think on on those levels too to think of like what are some of those situations like how would you deal with that though they took two thousand dollars out of my bonus check this year two thousand dollars out of my bonus check i'd rather have given that two thousand dollars to hawaii than to give it to fucking ukraine mm. i give a fuck about ukraine I'd rather give it to the colored people than to the white people. I mean, it's always going to go to the to the YT people before it ever gets to our people, to be honest with you. But that's another discussion for another day. And I think like, but I think you have to think um, a lot of people, you know, we're all very educated and everything, but like some, we have to think on like a global level as opposed to like just a national or regional level, because there's certain things that cause like domino effects. What about Africa? What about all the wars that go on in Africa? What about all the kids that are dying in Africa? I feel like every you know, country yeah. is having a, they have their own problems. You feel me? We can't, we can't really. I mean, we can't be selective of it, but I, I think it's like one of those things where, like, if you're thinking on a global level, you have to see yeah. what dominoes affect um, our pile of dominoes um, more than others, too. You know what I mean? What about the Middle East? There's a bunch of countries in the Middle East that are in crazy ass wars right now. I feel like Why don't we help them? I feel like they pick and choose because it'll benefit them. Later that's right. Like, that's what I. Yeah, they pick which dominoes are closer to home than mm-hmm. than um, than the ones that you know they give a fuck about. Or maybe it's because uh, a certain president has ties with Ukraine. Could be, and that's where his money. I mean, at. there's probably different theories and everything going out there but like like i said once you get to that level where you think where because we're we're only thinking of like i don't want to say humanitarian because each effort is a humanitarian effort but i think we're only thinking on a national as opposed to global Mm. you know i i personally agree that we need to help our people because it's way too many homeless people in America. But homeless people, not even just that. There's too many druggies, too many people in debt, too many people, too many people that can't afford a fucking plate, bro. Too many people that can't afford a, you know, can't afford a car, or let alone ride the bus. But we'd rather give billions to another country. Like honestly, I personally think a politician should not be making the kind of money that they're making, or either politicians should be getting paid more. And this is why. Before I go. Because the reason a lot of politi- – to be a politician, bro, you have to have already come from money. And if you're trying to be a good politi- – if you're trying to be a politician and you're broke, you're going to have to sell your soul in order to make money. Because the politicians, when you think of, like, their average salary, they're not – they don't get paid well. Oh, so yeah, too. they don't get paid well. Like, why do you think a lot of these people are corrupt? Because, you know, there's companies and businesses and other pe- powerful people with money where they're like – Yo, bro, swing, swing this law this way or vote this way. And you know what? We'll give you, we'll give you insider trading information or whatever where you could shit. throw your met, where you <clears throat> could throw your money. Of course you would. I would too. I'm sorry. If I was a person, I would too. I'll, I'll sell your soul. Bro. Like, you really sell your soul? First day. But I would too, bro. Like you see this money, you're going to see $5 million or be like, oh, where should I invest $5 million? Or they tell you, you know, maybe they give you a loan and they tell you where to invest that $5 million. Let's like, say the next Apple comes through. Become millionaire, billionaire status, bro. Yeah, like people hit me up and say, "Yo, brother, I need you to pass, pass this, law. this law to you know make my taxes go low." I'll be like, "I should go run you a couple bands." And if he says, "Yo, I'll give you a mill," like that's a right, couple bands. Yeah, and you know, I'll give you a mill. <laughs> I'll give you a mill <laughs> and throw. It's crazy, bro. I'll give you a mill, but throw the throw your money, but throw that million in like fucking in a delivery company that that Amazon's gonna buy, and then boom, the buyout happens. You get triple your money back. Bezos gets his money back. You know what I mean? And makes more money on top of that. Like, speaking of companies, do you think resellers are killing the game for everybody? Or? Like fuck shoe, resellers, like bro. Like shoes and shit? All resellers, bro. Terrible, oh. terrible shit. Why terrible you, people. What, bro. What's your take on that, though? Why you feel like resellers is thing? Because I feel like if I was a reseller, it, I'm making profit and I'm happy. You got me? And as long as the consumers are, you know, buying my product, I don't give a fuck. All right, let's say you got two kids. You know, it's Christmas. They always wanted a PlayStation 5. You know what I mean? Oh, they're $1,000. But here comes Alex with like 50 PlayStations in his <laughs> box truck. And you're looking at him. And you're looking at him. And he's like, yeah, look, yeah, I got Xbox is $1,000 or whatever. You're going to feel some type of way? You ain't going wa- to want to rob him? You know, he's part of the reason why the market's so 
crazy. I'd be like, yo, for you, you did that because you got all of it. You no. paid for it. He had the money to do it. He had to no. flip him. It's your fault for not getting it. Should have got the first come first serve. I mean, it also falls on the companies because of production. Yeah. When it comes to when it comes to shoes, it's a little bit different because you know you gotta do raffles, and you got if you don't win, you don't win. What if you wanted those pair of shoes that you got on right now? Like, really wanted them, bro. I really wanted them. And you saw me, me and Alex with like a hundred pairs each. Bro, how selling much, them for five hundred. Five hundred. Five hundred. You could eat a dick because I'll just go to somewhere else. Yo, so curve. Uh, be more in uh, detail with uh, that question. Like, are you talking like a uh, sneaker reseller or just reseller in general? Uh, let's say sneaker reseller. Oh, um, actually, I feel like the sneaker market's uh, deflating now because of so many reps. True. I feel like the rep game changed the whole market, and now the consumer feels like they can just go somewhere else to get the sneaker instead of paying that $1,000 for some Travis Scott's. They can just go on line and just buy it for like 80 bucks. So I feel like the reseller game on sneakers is decreasing, but on other shit, I feel like people are wilding out. What do you mean by other shit? Like, 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 like games and... Yeah, like game. Like people are literally going to stores and buying toys that should be bought for kids, but they're buying it to resell. Like that's wild. So what are your thoughts on like concert tickets and everything? Because I feel like we're now in an era where like concerts are almost dead because you have to throw festivals. But at the same time, those prices for the festivals are so expensive, bro. And then you got people buying scalping tickets. I think the price for festivals is a good price. I think it's as a consumer, price. right? As a consumer, I think it's a good price. You pay what two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars to go see like 20, 30 artists and enjoy. Yeah, you're like in a great environment. People are partying, having fun. You have drinks. Like it's it's a. I yeah. feel like it's worth the money for the experience. It's like it's like. You think it's worth it as an artist, yeah. though? As an artist, uh, as an artist, did you go on? Yeah, you know how much people are gonna be there. Yeah, but like as a let's say, Alex is a platinum artist, probably one of the biggest artists. Okay. Charges like can sell out stadiums on his own. Okay. He's gonna take a pay cut doing a, doing a festival. If you love your fans, you're gonna do it. Some people don't do it. Getting into music, right? Yeah. So what are you guys Two thousands all the way. Two thousands. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. I don't care. Two thousands was just yo. Everything just was flowing at the time. Nineties is don't get me wrong. Nineties um, R and B was fire as well. Are that's you including like eighties R and B, like this R and B, like the new generation of R and B too? Because that's still in the two thousands, early two thousands. I I would say two thousands R and B. I didn't really listen to like a lot of like earlier R and B like that. You know what? Because I'm gonna test y'all real fast. What are your name? Me five of your favorite two thousand R and B songs. Um, mm. right now, probably y'all. Uh, I need a girl. Right? That's 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 nineties though. That's two thousand. That's two thousands. Right? That's like early two thousand. Trey song. Song is that? And then fabulous girl. I trade oh. Girl. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Fifty Cent had R and B songs too. Technically, nah, that's rap though. But he had R and B songs too. What was that sweet? Technically, it's, it's, it's a mix. Um, there was Genuine. What well, Genuine? Because then it fall in the 90s. Yeah. Depending on which Genuine song you're talking about. Oh, that's true. Damn. There was uh, Bobby Valentino. He had bangers. Mm-hmm. He had a couple. Usher. Usher. Yeah, Usher. Chris Brown. Yo, what was the name of that dude? Um, where I want to be. He did the Where I Want to Be album. Dante. Donnell, Donnell Jones. Donnell Jones. Uh, Wait, what era is that? I don't. You got him because that's nineties. Is he? Is he nineties? Yeah. I love that. I, I gotta give you credit. I gotta give you credit. I, yeah, yeah, you credit. Yeah, yeah. I love. I love that album. Yeah, you kind of. Yo, nineties might have got it. I like. I like. Yeah, that's why I, I thought it. he was like early two thousands. I wanted though. you guys to say the like the two thousand songs because I feel like nineties R and B and eighties R and B. That's where real R and B was at. The two thousands was like pop R and B. Damn. Yeah, it was like it might poppish. be nineties. Yeah. Oh, damn. Uh, but Usher was going crazy. Usher, Usher was in the nineties too, bro. That was Usher's young. First, You're talking about Usher's young Usher first, though. Usher's first album was in the nineties. How old was he when that album came out? And the out? second album he was too. Young, bro. The second album too. Actually, he can you, can you look that up right now? Um, Usher's second um album. Bro, he used to live in Diddy's house. That's how young he was. He was. I think he was only like sixteen. Would 17. you sleep in Diddy's house? No. I Hell would you, would you use his bathroom? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wouldn't. What, what was the single off that one? Uh, oh, 
Yeah, boy. But Lovers and Friends, though, was also my shit. Oh, shit. Like, hearing, I saw Usher perform that shit, bro, and I was, and it just, like, unlocked memories. I was like, holy fuck, bro. Oh, one of the greatest R and B singers of all time. <laughs> One of the greatest R and B singers. Why would he have to be fucking? Why would he have to be so horny, bro? That guy, yo. Yeah, yeah, put, there's a lot. There's also female R and B singers too. Like definitely, like Beyonce was up there. Rihanna. Rihanna, definitely up there. Uh, who else? Kelly Rowland. Solange. That's that's the that's Destiny Child. That's Solange too, you like just, you could just put them as a group. True. They had they had bangers too. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mariah right, Carey. There's there's math. Mariah right, Carey was crazy, bro. You think females are running are low key running the game right now, or they always have? They've always had, bro. You feel like it? Yeah. Anytime, bro. I feel like what both, dictates both people. Oh, everything, bro. Everything? I feel like if women are into something, never rap. They never ran rap. They ran. They're and the now, but now they're the one, consumer, but they're the biggest some, consumers of never, it, though. Yeah, I mean, that's more for the new generation. The yeah, new generation yeah. definitely. Yeah. I don't think there was ever a time where a, a female rapper ran the game. Like Nicki Minaj. Nicki. When? Back in like Nicki when? Because she, Nicki Minaj and Drake had the same run. They've been out the same time. They've been out the same time. Drake. Drake has always outshined Nicki Minaj. But that's because you you also can't go like a year without a Drake like album, though. That's based on your opinion. Though. That's you, not based you, off my opinion, nah, bro. Well, Ask anyone, would you rather have a Drake album or a Nicki album? I mean, this, yes. This, there's a but, lot of Nicki fans. But what I was going to say is like, but I, what I was going to say is like, you also have to consider that Drake is probably one of the most consistent artists in the last 15 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Even longer than Lil Wayne's run at this point. Like, okay, so you just proven my my point even more. But yeah, but we're if talking Nikki about Nikki comes out with an album right but now. But we too. can't we can't compare. In my opinion, we can't compare women and men because it's two different. I'm not comparing. I'm saying there was never a time where a female rapper was on top of a man in the charts. Oh. All right. Maybe a sing a singer definitely. No, Beyonce. Beyonce? There's a lot of there's a lot of females. Of Beyonce, yeah, Beyonce, bro. She was Beyonce out there at tops, one point. Beyonce still Beyonce could like drop an album out of nowhere now and st- it'll still probably be number one. But then it's kind of it's kind of debatable too because of Jay Z. I think Beyonce would get more attention than, than a yeah, Jay Z. Now, album. now, right now, yeah, definitely. Even before then, even back then too, bro. A Beyonce album would definitely get way you more. Think attention. so? How? Jay Z. Jay Z didn't have a number. Like a Kanye. Yeah, Jay Z didn't have a number one until um. With the blueprint. Until New York. Empire State of Mind, yeah. Um and yeah, Beyonce would easily. I even think Beyonce could outshine a Kanye West album. No, no, nah, even back then, bro. Even back then, Kanye, Kanye, as great as he was, I don't think he ever had like an album that went over a mil. They should have, like maybe within the first week. I but yeah, there, there's been a bunch of albums that went uh, platinum, bro. My, I think that one did like. I think he either did four hundred, eight hundred. Have, That's the first week though, That's but like they no, no, they've no, gone no. platinum. That's just underrated, in my opinion. They like all those albums you're talking about have gone platinum over the over the years, but like a Beyonce album, streams. huh? Well, because of stream, well, yeah, which is a good thing. But like, um, you know, there's not that many artists that hit diamond. Beyonce is one of them, obviously, and there's a few other there's a few other artists that have gone diamond, including Kanye and I think Hope and everything else. But but if Beyonce was to drop an album, it's She'll dominate any genre. All right. If, I don't know if there's if, any Okay, other so artists. if Beyonce dropped an album on the same day as Dylon, who's who's selling more records? Dylon. But who's getting more streams? Dylon. But let me ask you this. Um we you and I were doing Dylan, the Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. We were doing the research a couple of days ago. Number one most streamed artist in the world right now is Bad Bunny. Do you think if Bad Bunny and Beyonce was to drop an album, who do you think would gain more attention? Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. Yeah, that's that's Bad Bunny. Beyonce's Beyonce can't Hit the demographic that Bad Bunny can. He's an international. The number one. So Beyonce. Well, I mean, I don't not know as much as, as Bad, Bad Bunny. Right this now. Bad is like Bunny's all question. over the world, bro. Mm. Bro, that album he dropped last summer, bro, it was it was crazy, too crazy. How much did Bad Bunny make off of a, off each tour? Oh, he made most of the money, like ninety percent, eighty to ninety percent of the money. No, I'm saying like, how much did he make? Wasn't it like ten? 
like 10 million or some shit each, oh, each show. It was significant, bro. It was each show. I'm talking about each show. Yeah, it was like a crazy number he made each show. Yo, that's wild, bro. Not even Drake and 21 Savage can do that shit. Yeah, a lot of a lot of these artists are comparing themselves to Bad Bunny when it comes to performing, which is crazy. Like they're saying, "Oh, I want to perform just like him." Oh, I want to be a performer just like him. What does he do that's different? What do, like have you seen a Bad Bunny? I think it's the market, bro, because people people forget that Latinos and Hispanics like we're deep. Latinos Bunch Latino. of Latinos going to a Bad Bunny show. No, I mean Latinos. Wild, I mean Latinos. Latinos <laughs> Yo, as a. That's wild. I mean, bro, I'm talking about Latinos <laughs> as a whole, bro. Like, yeah. you're going to say Latinos, not Latinos. Because, yeah. I mean, you got he's dudes. Actually, he's right. He's right. You got dudes that are fans, too. He's right. Yeah. You know I mean? Bro, um, imagine, imagine, four, imagine four Spanish dudes in a car driving to a Bad Bunny concert. Yeah, that's what. Que But. But, like. But like, yo, we're out, we're out, we're out here though. Like, nah, definitely. That's why. That's why he's as big as he is. Pause. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you his his like his demographic when it comes to um his fans is crazy. He, he literally like his music is everywhere. Hundred percent. Have you guys ever been obsessed over people? Man, I'm obsessed over my girl every day. Yeah, sip. Yeah, this kid does sip. Faithful kid. When I wake up, when I go to sleep while I'm dreaming, that's all I think about. So I care. Yo, this kid. <laughs> this kid does sip. You know what's crazy? Um, like, can't spell simp without Monday. Us as men, we don't really talk about being obsessed. Like, obviously, you see all the memes and everything on the internet about women being obsessed. Um, we don't ever really talk about that shit, though. That's just crazy. Yeah, nah. I, I'm not gonna lie. I've been obsessed. Been obsessed over, over a female. Hell yeah! There's the thing is you you can't. Really, I feel like now you can't really show it, yo. It, it makes you look vulnerable, but like you know, people take advantage of that. Mm, like, like females will take advantage of that. I, in my personal opinion, if you show them any type of like too much attention, you know what I mean. I feel like too much attention, as it is, in our day and age is crazy right now because some people will turn down money because they'd rather get they'd rather get attention turn down money turn down money to get attention like um you know there's there's been instances where people are like oh i've hung out with drake but i signed an nda but i'm i'd rather not get the bag because i I could do something with drake and get some money but they'd rather be like oh i was hanging out with drake because that gets you more attention so like I feel like it's kind of hard for us to like really dive in deep sometimes to mm-hmm. when it comes to women sometimes because I don't know if it's maybe because of like our roles as men where it's like oh you can't really show your feelings if what you're would you rather care. take would you rather take five k or chill with Kanye for a day? Give me the five k. Give me the five k. Kanye Kanye is not forced to do anything for me, bro. Yeah. Oh, I'm just asking. I know. I, my, I, he is my favorite artist, but like, I'd rather take the money because what's Kanye gonna do for me? I'll chill with him. I mean, if that whole time you're chilling with him, I feel like I'd be cool with him. But what happens if that, that, that in that situation? Yeah. What happens? I'm saying hypothetically. He just hypothetically, you. bro. He just stared at you. He he's not obligated anything. to do that, bro. Exactly. Or he's just on his phone. Just what if what if he he's pulls like, you to the side and be like he's not gonna be on his phone the whole time you know but check this let's say you get to 5k right you know how the universe works right your car breaks down mm-hmm. i gotta put 5k on your car <laughs> hey that's hey, help me out yeah you know what i mean it's better than taking out a credit card loan better than what if your car breaks down and you but, to go chill with kanye you know you're <laughs> chilling with kanye i'll be yo yo yay bro car broke down. all right what if you're chilling with kanye right he pulls up to you because someone told him something. He's like, yo, Bundy, you got to go, bro. You're too drunk. You know, you're making the hoes uncomfortable. <laughs> you see? Like, he, like, I'll be like, I'll be, it's all good, bro. I'm just like you. And he'll be like, ah, and then we get lit. No, that's, no, like, that's definitely you not. You ain't seen him on Drink Champs? You tell me he didn't have the hoes uncomfortable? Because he's a billionaire. He could do whatever he wants, bro. Honestly, the, the, the hoes probably don't even remember that. They'll probably still chill with him. Because he's a billionaire. Yeah, and I'm with Kanye. He got money. 
Jose ain't gonna care. You ain't got money, bro. You don't got Kanye money. They don't know that. Bro, he 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 literally just said, Alex, you gotta go home. Like you're you're making him uncomfortable. I can't have you around, bro. bro. Gonna, that's the first thing. Then I'll, da- I'll I'll dap him up. I'll be like, Matt Love, but like, it's all good, bro. Um, it's all good, big bro. It's it's all it's, it's all good, little bro. Just make sure you, you, you give me that bread I, I gave you. <laughs> make sure you give me that bread I gave you the other day. Calling Kanye little bro is crazy. He's gonna little bro you. That's right, facts. Bro. But you ever felt like you was obsessed with a girl? Yeah, bro, but like. Like you felt like you were too clingy type shit? Yeah, but then like I felt like it, but then I felt like I was in my head. I overthink stuff a lot. I'd be like, damn, I make it myself uncomfortable because I'm obsessing over it. And I've, so I know for a fact they're probably uncomfortable with me around. So like, you know, you had to go through that character development where you got to be like, you got to relax. You can't be doing too much or you can't be doing too much too early because it's just not a good look. Because people, people might be saying that they're doing too much. Like, you could be coming from, like, a genuine place. But, like, you know, everyone everyone in the world has gone through something. So, like, they're, they're very distrusting of people. So, like, when you hit them with some genuine energy, like, you know, it could be seen a different way. Well, I understand. No, I just don't give a fuck about anything, but. You feel like you're very much alive, bro? Very, bro. Yeah. I think, I think Trump, not trauma, but, like, the shit I went through when I. Yeah, you're traumatized. You're trying to say you're not what you are. You're traumatized. Yeah, like what? I, yeah. yeah, I mean, I've had good situations. I've had bad situations. Everybody got to go through it, though. That's that's part of life. Yeah. Yeah, that's part of life. Like, you got to go through that. So it's, it's not a trauma. It's just a canon event. Huh? Canon event? It was a canon event, <laughs> yeah. That movie was fire. I'm yeah, not, that movie was I, yo, I, You know what's crazy? I never watched part one. Bro? Really? Uh, part one was better. That's why, yo, that's what he, he kept telling me. Like, part one was better. So what about... You never seen part one? It. I thought you said you saw it. What about you back in the day before you was um Cap. before it was before you were in a relationship? Like you, you ever been in a situation like that? Spider Man. Oh yeah. The the um the animated one, the oh, into, yeah. into the into the into the multiverse, I think it's called. Mm-hmm. That's not the first one though. The first one is a different name, no? Uh, is that one? Is that one? Yeah, yeah. And what the fuck is the second one called again? Into the into the Spidey verse? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nah. Like, what the fuck is Yo, watch me enable, <laughs> enable like, people that, certain people that don't think like normal people and end up becoming stalkers. You end up becoming a stalker? Yeah, because, like, I'm enabling their their weirdness, but it's not like that either because, like, I'm, I'm not a weird person. True. But, but if you're weird, you're weird, bro. You got to take some time and reevaluate yourself. But... I just wanted to put that out there just in yeah, case. Yeah, so what what do you mean by you're like an overthinker? Like, say, like, for example, you, you chilling with a girl, like, you feel like you overthink yourself not to make a move or something like that? Yes and no. You know what I mean? Like, it, it all depends, too. Even if I'm chilling with regular people, because, like, I talk to people, I talk to everyone the same. Like, what you see is what you get. Mm-hmm. You know, I might not have, like, intimate moments with, like, my boys, because that's weird to me. Um, you know what I mean? But I'll have, like, an intimate conversation with a woman. You won't have an intimate conversation with your boys. Like you never cried. You never cried like in front of your boys. I have. That's technically an intimate moment. Not like a romantic moment. Oh, so like, shut up. Hey yo, nah, that was crazy. yeah, sh- shut this man up, man. <laughs> but be <laughs> listening to Gangsta Licious. Oh, that thug in love. <laughs> <laughs> but fuck, what was I talking about? Yo, yo, I it keeps happening. <laughs> yo, that keeps happening to me too. But, oh, but uh, having an intimate yeah. uh, relationship with one of your boys? Yeah, no, nah, I can't do that. That's weird. To me, I, I don't. Oh, well, I'm overthinking. That's what it was. Yeah. So, like, when I'm hanging out with, if I just met you, or whatever, or we're, you know, we're kicking or whatever, and it's like our first time, mm-hmm. um, I overthink it, and I'm like always apologizing. Like, you ever, you ever hung out with me in the beginning, and like, you're like, yo, why is he always apologizing? I'm always self conscious. I'm, but I'm very self conscious of like my own actions. You know what I mean? Like I never want to feel like I'm moving a certain way. Yeah. You know, or I don't want to be perceived a certain way. Yeah. No, but that's just you though. Like that's just the way you talk. You got me. That's just me overthinking it yeah. though. Like I feel like say sorry is just in your dialogue. Like I'm I'm comfortable around both of you guys, but like how many times do I apologize a day? And I still overthink shit. I probably called you before, like where I'm overthinking about something. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, oh no, nah, bro, you're good. Like. It's You're not that serious, it, but it is to me. Yeah, so you just you're just a person that worries a lot. You know what I mean? 
Like you say you're not so not, but you're really not put it like that. Like yeah. to certain people, but yeah. yeah. Pause me, bro. What? This kid gets anxiety because he cares about what other men thinks. <laughs> no, I guess that's wild, Yo, bro. Man, that is crazy. Bro. That's wild. <laughs> this month, not me. I I could care less of like, I could care less of what the world thinks of me, but I could, but it means the world to me. Um, of what my people think of me. Are you more social when you're drunk? Oh, hell yeah. I'm mad at going when I'm drunk. It's crazy. But um, on a regular basis, it, it all depends on my mood. Like, you feel me? Like, I could be... And also in the environment, too. Because if I feel like everybody in the room is cool, like, yo, I could talk to anybody, any, anybody. Like, you know what I mean? I pull up but, to the parties yeah. looking for a corner to chill in. Have you ever been scared to talk to somebody? Oh, hell yeah. Bro, I, I, be, I used to have anxiety, bro. Like, that shit used to be crazy, like... I like I just learned how to talk to people in front like in front of people probably not like a couple years ago like 2019 so around the time we started the podcast yeah yeah a, a little bit before the podcast it was that's when I started like introvert, An introvert? Yeah. yes and no why I say yes is cuz there's certain there's certain the um settings that you need to be an extrovert you feel me and if you're an introvert, like it's it's gonna it's gonna be a constant battle with your mind. Like, damn, should I say this? Or like, you know, you're gonna be thinking too much like Hugo says, you feel me? I don't um, think so. I think it's okay to be an introvert. <clears throat> yeah, you can live your life the way you want. Now we're in that age where like you're not forced you don't have to force yourself to be an extrovert. Yeah, look at Adelsi. He lives his life with no bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I definitely get no bitch. Yo, like, if you really want to be, live it like a complete in, introverted it. lifestyle, work remote. Oh, I'm arm and hammer because it's only around hammers. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this guy, ain't, this guy ain't shit. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to live like a complete like introvert lifestyle, work remote. Um, pretty much it. You don't gotta talk to nobody. This is boring as fuck though. Like, Depends on who you are though. I, yo, when I worked at home, I. I used to love the office setting because it was just there for every day. But yeah, because you showed up like five minutes before your shift was over. This kid be showing <laughs> up late to his remote job. Is wild. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I used to, bro, because my my desk used to be right next to my bed. So sometimes, yo, I wake up. And I used to just look at it like, damn, I really gotta work, and literally sit there and be like, damn, I gotta get up. And sometimes I'll close my eyes and then go back to sleep. I'd be like, fuck, like, I gotta get up. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. It was like, it's, that's why I found it boring, you know. I used to hate that job. Well, you took it when you was younger. Now that you're older, I feel like you would no. enjoy it more. No. You wanna go to like a hookah bar, set your laptop up, smoke hookah, just wiggle your mouse? That's not, that's, but that's, that's a different, I I might, um, my job was really like, I had to be in a good, uh, like, it's taking phone calls, you feel me? So you gotta have great internet. So I had to, you know, Make sure, like I stayed home, like that's like I couldn't move it around. Cause imagine the internet goes down. Mm. Now, now they're calling me like, "Oh, yo, what happened?" Oh, I'm at a bar. <laughs> like they're gonna be like, "What the fuck?" Like, you feel me? I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you got a cop? You got a lie? I'm a lie, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This nigga. Yeah. I think my son pulled the router. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie. Nah, I did. I I did do that. No, I don't. I don't have that job. Your there son? Time, no. There's one time I literally disconnected my internet just to not work for the day and still get paid. That's fire. Yeah. I just kept saying, "Yo, I don't know." Uh, for God's communication is gonna come soon. Like, he's gonna have to wait, bro. I, I the whole morning I was just chilling, playing. Uh, two K. He was on the corn hub. Uh, nah, I was playing Call of Duty, <laughs> chilling the whole time. My internet was on. I just disconnected from the laptop. This guy ain't shit, bro. And then yeah, I was like, yeah, I can't, I can't go on until they come. And then it was like two o'clock, and then and then I was like, oh, I guess I'll work. <sighs> After I was done, like catching bodies and shit, but I was like, yeah, that's gonna get a bill in the mail. Nice. His old jobs in the wash. Yeah, you yeah. always for these hours, yeah. my boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my dick, yo, the fuck out of here, huh? Bro, I used to, yeah, hell yeah, don't. Bro, I've watched so many series, bro. Like I was watching anime at the time, and like I used to just that I just watch it while working. And sometimes you gotta wait for a call. You get me? When did you feel, when did you like start feeling old? 
just based off of like television shows. Like, like, I don't even know what shows are out right now. That's how I feel old right now. Like, I can't, th- I, I can't name a, a cartoon that's out right now. That's crazy. I feel you though. Yeah, like you tell me if you tell me a show that's out right now, I'll probably be like, what the fuck is Rick that? and Morty? Why? I feel like that's for adults though. Yeah, that's more adults. So like, Still cartoon. That's the last. Like, why you say that? Ooh. Makes you feel old. You want to feel old? You remember when Attack on Titans first came out? Yeah. Yeah. What if I tell you it's been 10 years? There's no way, bro. That should have been 10 years. It's been 10 years. Look it up. Can you look it up? Attack on Titans? Bro, I just... He just said it before we did the podcast that Spongebob isn't even a show anymore. It's a Patrick Star show or whatever. Yeah. For real? Man, Patrick Star show. Old, bro. Bro. We get old. Do you feel less old because you're watching... 2013. 2013, Attack bro? on Titans. 10 years. 20, Do you feel... 2013 was 10 years ago. What the fuck, bro? Do you feel Yo, less old? The greatest summer of all time was almost 10 years ago, bro. Um, that uh, is crazy. 2016, if you didn't know. 2016 was the greatest summer. But, but did you? do you feel less old now that you have a, a child and you're watching these shows? Or do you I'm 22, like, dog. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm still young, baby. Oh my my fault, OG. Yeah, you you old nigga. Do I look do I look old? You starting to look older now. It's just the way he I'm dresses, hat, bro. It's it's the way he's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the outfit. It's the fit, yeah. You dress like a like a like a redneck in the south. I dress like a rich white man now. Nah. I'm wearing the vineyard vines. You feel me? Yeah, he got the. You dress, you dress like you just got off construction. He got the M M&M and M hat on. That's that's what it is. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> lyrical spiritual. <laughs> yeah, he's looking like you're about to start spitting bars. Like, rap real quick. Everybody from the 313 <laughs> looking ass. I would call the IRS on you, but they won't care about you guys. Good. You guys make <laughs> good. <laughs> you guys make a lot, a lot of money. <laughs> they ain't going to make They're going to get no money from us. <laughs> Just throw me in jail, bro. Like, I'm not, not going to be able to pay you back. You have the IRS? <laughs> you with that, bro. I thought he was throwing gang signs, yeah, bro. Yeah, I thought he was like, He's throwing up the IRS, bro. <laughs> oh, you a fed, bro? Oh, shit. Yeah, we, we need a new intern, bro. Kids wearing a wire. That shit is fake as fuck, bro. Like, yo, that shit. Yo, I honestly say that shit because females like talking about it. So, like, why not? Like you know what I mean? I know nothing of it. Like I really don't know nothing of it. I you, just know my sign. Do you like the fact that it's a good conversation where where like women are trying to diagnose you, do like a diagnosis on you? Bro, they've done it. They've done it. Be, I'll be like, oh, I'm a, I'm a Leo. Oh my God, Leos are very uh, confident. I'll be like, what the fuck? Like, and like whole time, like I'll let them talk, and I'll be like, that's nothing. Like, that. yeah, the uh, you're probably just depressed on the inside. You know what I mean? Running from the IRS. Did you ever? Did you ever? Lie and act like you care to get some cheeks. Yes. You ever download that app? Yes. I, I I got like <laughs> ask your mom for the ask your mom for your date for the time you were born. Oh, I have, good. but my mom don't know. Like, she, like it's crazy. She don't know about the top of her head. I got. Oh wait, was it? Was it my dad? Dad. One or two don't know, bro. And I was just like, probably your dad. And I was like, I was like, damn, yo, they make me feel like I'm adopted or some shit. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> sh- <laughs> bro, I feel like your biggest stop is your dad. My biggest, uh, nah, me and my, I fuck with my dad heavy, bro. No, your, your dad was like, yeah, as I go. Coming out for hitting the park cart. Yo, nah, my dad, when he was like, when I was younger, he's completely different person, you get me? Yeah. yeah this mic is not going to stay, bro. It wants to be on this side. I don't know why. But, um, yeah, my dad, he was a complete different person, like, as I was growing up compared to now. I feel like now, since we're older, like. He, we could relate more, you know, because I experience a little bit more of life. Mm. And, you know, he doesn't have to be, uh, 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 like, strict. You feel me? I know. I know why. Why? I know why. Why? I, that it's day you got bullshit. that day you got hit by a parked car, bro, <clears throat> he yeah. was in his fucking bag, bro. He was he was smacking those copy ghouls like crazy, bro. He was going crazy, bro. He was up mad bread, bro. He was up. And then he was like, you know what? He put mad money on the game, bro. He was so big, yo. He put the rent money up, bro. He was he had that game in the back, bro. And then he sees a bunch of little kids running to him, like, "Oh my God, Adelcio got hit by a car!" 
And then he had to be like this. He had to be like, the game of my son. The game of my son. <laughs> And he chose you, and then he got there. And he seen you there, and then he found out you got hit by a parked car. He was he just personally, like, if I was in his shoes, I probably would have stayed playing the game. Like I lied, I let my I let my wife take. And that's why he was hating on you this whole time, bro. Bro, I'm about to win. I'm about to win. Bank, my kid just got hit. I'm sending my wife. I'm let me win real quick. Then I'll go see if he's good. Yeah, not gonna lie, that's me. I don't Yo, the day I think Wait I know what I'm gonna you, get him for. Uh, Oh, he, he was wanting to whoop my ass. Yeah, like, he like, came about me so no, much. You know <laughs> Yo, the day he gets married, I think I figured out what's going to be the perfect gift for him. A punching, punching No, the bag? car that spawned on him. Bro, I don't even remember what car it was. I do. Cadillac, wasn't it? Nah, I think, uh, I think it might have been a Honda. Co- coincidence, because I drive a Honda. Like, it was like a dark gray car, too. Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Watch it be like his car. <laughs> it was Alex from the future. And it oh, wasn't man. parked. Yo, yo, they keep saying it's parked. It's, it wasn't parked. It was they were driving. Mm-hmm. Yo, it mm-hmm. makes no sense to be get hit by a parked car. I wouldn't have gotten like a big ass bruise on my fucking leg. That's why your dad hit you, bro. <laughs> he didn't, surprisingly. Like, right. I, and I've gotten I've gotten hit for the dumbest bro. This is one time. I'm gonna tell you this story. The the dumbest shit I ever got hit for. So, we used, uh, they used to send me to the corner store a lot. And one day my dad was like, oh, go, go grab some razors from the, um, from the corner store. But he used to say Gillette. And I was like, I said it in his accent. So I was like, all right. So I go to the store and I'm like, to the, to the, uh, to Pablo. I was like, oh, oh, I'm a Gillette. He goes, what? I said, Gillette. Like, he didn't know what I was saying. And he was like, he said, oh, we don't have that. I'm like, all right, bet. I go back to the crib. I go to my dad. I said, yo, they don't have it. I think he said, what? That's, nigga picks up the phone. I'm like, what the fuck this nigga doing? All I see is this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nigga starts taking off the bell. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I'm panicking. He said, yo, you're fucking lying. Who boom? This old nigga started hitting me. And then I had to, then he put me on the, like, on the wall, like, you know, like, like with the race and shit, you ever got ink out? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, nigga, like, yo, I was, like, yo, I didn't go to the store for a month. Did you give him the money back? Huh? Yeah, he, he got it, he got it. But like, I got what for the store owner lying on my name? He wasn't lying, bro. Huh? Gillette. Gillette. Pablo, you lying on my name? The, I never forgot. The Gillette razors, bro. Huh? That's yes. what you're supposed to get. Yeah. So, fucked up, bro. How? I said it. Did you really? Yeah. Pretty sure I said it. His dad probably thought he's gonna keep the money or something. Did you give him the money back before? Yeah, of course. Oh no, your dad hates nah, you, bro. bro. I remember that day clearly. Your dad hates you, bro. He bought he bought or the whole block you. honey buns and cakes and cap gummy bears and shit. Yeah, that's what's that kid. He nah, bought no. us the gummy bears that were in the weed. Nah, bags. nah, no bullshit. Oh my god! If, if I had like five dollars up, I I did try to blast the team. Like yo, you felt like that nigga. Like twenty dollars, you felt like you had a hundred dollars at that time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We from different eras, bro. Two dollars, you could fed the block back in. Back Two dollars, yeah. Bro. That's if you buy all them little ten cent candies. That's what we was that. buying, oh, bro. Twenty five cent cakes, fifteen cent honey buns, fifteen cent juice. Whoa, 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 yeah, no boy. What was this? How old are you, sir? I'm penny, saying, this kid's talking about penny candies. <laughs> hey, I'm like he's an like eighty bro. year old nigga at heart. <laughs> Houses were at fucking seventy five dollars. Seventy five dollars. <laughs> Seventy-five dollar houses is nuts. Damn, OG. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Fifty cent honey buns, bro. Yeah, bro. What store were you going to? Damn, we was getting finesse, bro. This is crazy. Are you? Yeah, you get, yo, it's crazy because he still hasn't said it. He's I mean, that store closed. Nah, nah the I guy wanna... got arrested. <laughs> but he did. Twenty-five cent honey buns. That is wild. The fuck with he selling? <laughs> I know, man. He kept the market. He kept the market good. I feel like I feel like the food now from the stores tastes different, though. Or like every food tastes different now compared to back then. Yeah, it's because they're trying to save money, cutting corners. They're giving us like yoga mats for food. Mm. Bro, they're giving us cardboard. That's why I feel like I be chewing on did cardboard. You know, did you know Subway um, bread is made out of like yoga mats? Nigga, what? Yeah, the same. Um, the same. 
one of the same ingredients in a yoga mat is in the same ingredients as a Subway sandwich bread. That's crazy. Not more than the Subway cookies. Subway cookies. Yeah, you Subway cookies. Shit. Yo, what you think is the best? What you think is the best spot to buy cookies at? Subway? I think Only if they're warm. You saying Subways? I don't know. Insomnia is kind of up there. Insomnia be Shout out. Shout out to Feed the Cheeks, bro. Excuse me? Feed the Cheeks got some fire ass cookies, bro. Try what's, it, bro. What's that a, I don't know if I like the name. Um, They got one on, like, around Theta Street. And they oh, have, that's the spot. Yeah. What's yeah. the name of it? Feed the Cheeks. Oh, Feed the Cheeks, bro. <laughs> it, was, it was right Why next to Dent. What the fuck? It's right next to Dent. You haven't find no Cheeks? Feed the Cheeks. Jeez, you thinking about me? Hey, yo, Bro, what the fuck's thinking? wrong with you, bro? bro you guys are perverts. <laughs> hey, yo, that's because we said feed the cheeks. Bro, bro, that's the name of the rest. Uh, the Even if it wasn't the name of the restaurant, you you don't you don't feed cheeks. I, I mean, I do, but I ain't gonna be naming my restaurant that. This nigga's rims too small. Get your motherfucking inches up. What <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the fuck? <laughs> that made me uncomfortable, bro. <laughs> Yo, Alex, I gotta talk to you, bro. <laughs> you, you just you just made some people uncomfortable. I think it's time for you to bones. Yeah, you're not. I'm gonna call you an Uber. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, that's bro. Where we at for time now, fellas? Shit, yeah, we we long enough. Pause. Uh, hour and twenty. Shit, man. Y'all wanna wrap it up? Yeah, yeah, not for sure. Oh yeah, yeah we honestly hit every topic. It's, it's it's crazy. I didn't think we was. You know, with with everything, you know, I like we like ending everything on some positive shit. Just saying some. Yeah, we have to end it a different way. Cause I, I'm not gonna stand what? us ending the pod the way I just ended it. Well, yo, Feed the cheeks. Said, yeah, you said some crazy oh, shit. Yeah. We also, we also got one more topic, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, topic. Yeah. Uh, so, this is uh, the fresh and fit. Man. Oh yeah. Rest can, can, piss, actually, can, can we get a round of applause? For the fact that the <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, can we get a round of applause for the fact that the Fresh and Fit podcast got demonetized? Rest in piss, fucking bozos. I don't Sick know why I'm clapping. I never watched their platform, bro. They're just like I really annoying. don't know about content their wise. They're just annoying. I personally don't like the way they they approach certain conversations. Like I get you're trying to push a certain um, narrative and stuff, but like at the same time, bro, don't. Be out here dehumanizing an, another gender, especially the gender that gives us life. Yep, you're yeah, corny. I really like seeing people take L's. You feel me? Like even though I don't know them and shit like that, and you know they are doing what you say you're doing. They could have, they could have just uh, did different, like you know, different type of content instead. But you know, they, hey, that's not me. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, we got to get them the hell out of here. You know me, bro. Hate is in my DNA, bro. <laughs> I wake up hey. I am so glad yeah, These niggas is. got Fucking demonetized bro I can't even call them niggas Cause they wanna be white So bad bro I thrive off of negativity bro. Yeah bro like, they're, they're cornballs They're coons yo, these They got fucking Black suck. force energy today What's going on Bro, bro I am so tell, happy I, I, You can yo, tell They got these picked on These shoes That's what it is Oh yeah shoes. It's the fix your credit threes <laughs> When I was yo Yo my girl's on TikTok right yeah. And I watched a video Of them fucking Getting up and crying, bro, because the fact that they got demonetized. This dude said, "Saving, saving, saving my fans mean more to me than saving kids." That's wild. That is wild. Like, bro, like that's why you got demonetized because you're a fucking corn, bro. They fucking wore KKK fucking outfits. Wow. You know what's like, crazy? Like, were they having? Were they just wearing it just to show support of like that and everything? Doesn't matter. Well, I'm I'm just curious. That's why. That, that, that's like us wearing fucking Hitler fucking like stashes, stashes and shit. Yeah, no, like you're fucking cornball for that shit. If you do yeah, it. no, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to laugh. Yeah. Don't, don't come at like, me. R. I. P. Fucking bozos. I'm happy you guys are going. I would love to have a genuine conversation with like a right wing person. And if you feel otherwise, find me. I'm in Rhode Island. Uh, yeah, you know, hit me up on Lee Kazadi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <It's like laughs> <a snitch> <laughs> They're coming to the manager. Oh, I heard one of them was fed too. One of them was fed. Yeah, one of them was a fed. Like he was a cop and shit before oh, he started doing that shit. Yeah. Bro. So rest in piss, fucking pig. Damn. 
<laughs> you, know, you know, I love, I love that energy. You know, you know, we gotta fight them, fight them to the I'm not gonna fight them, bro. What the fuck? I love that energy, man. Like, I'm gonna set up a boxing match. You know, I have a job. Only poor people like to fight. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, you know, you know what, bro? Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. That's fucking great. You know, I like, I like that. You know, we end off on some negativity, but now we gotta reel it back into our like our happy side. I think it's time for us to hit some bars. Um, not rapping bars because you know niggas is thirsty. But I can't rap. Right? Um, I I can't either. But you know, is there anything you guys want to say out there to the world, the listeners? We're about to wrap up season. We're not wrapping up the season, but we're about to wrap up season four, episode fourteen. <laughs> um, nah, I don't really got nothing to say. Really, you know, just enjoy life, honestly, as much as you can. You never know when it's your time. Um. Let's have another round of applause for these bozos getting demonetized. <laughs> that is pretty positive. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, nah. Well, I'm always just gonna be preaching about self love. You can't, you can't find love if you don't love yourself first. And you know, secondly, shout out to this is college. Shout out to Arnie, Antonio, and RJ. Thank you for letting us use your your awesome ass office, bro. We, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all, man. You see this shit? You know, and shit. That was episode 14, and we are gone. Bah!